Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be starting a fun, easy manicure using this orchid color from Color Club. It's called Wicker Park. Um, and we're going to stamp first over this. We're going to be using Bundle Monster Plate 716 and I'm going to be using these cherry blossoms here down at the bottom. For the color to stamp with, I'm going to use clean color and the color is called Lavin Baby. Okay, so I'm going to put the polish where I want it to be. I'm avoiding this next part of the image over there. I only want this section. Okay, then I'm going to scrape out towards the outer edge of this, the plate so that it doesn't ooze into the other parts of the image. I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to stamp that across the nail starting from the outer edge and since I don't know, it's a little hard to tell I do want some more down here at the bottom so I'm just gonna take another part of the image just maybe this one flower right here one of the bigger ones okay and same technique and just put it into the open space there we go Okay. Now that the stamping part is done, we're going to go ahead and take a light gray. This looks a little bit like a medium gray, um, but basically what I'm going to do is take a little piece of cosmetic sponge and I'm going to put some of the gray polish just on one edge, like that. And then I'm going to just dab the outer corner going up about halfway on the side and then just dabbing into the corner here. It might take one or two coats, but you have to wait in between. And then I'm going to also use this polish and putting a little bit on my plate using either a dotting tool or toothpick or orange wood stick. For now I'm going to use uh, the orange wood stick and I'm going to place dots of gray into the center of each of the stamped flowers. Okay, Okay. so there are the corners all dabbed, and then once that is dry, um, we're going to take a darker purple color. This looks sort of blue on camera, but this is Sally Hansen Insta-Dry Grape Escape. And what we're going to do is take that same piece of sponge and just flip it over. I'm going to put a little bit of that polish along the tip, and then taking it just below the line so that you still see the gray we're gonna dab the, the corner of uh, the tip of the corner okay leaving again some of the gray to show like that okay so that you have a double layer okay so here they are with the tips okay and then the last thing we're gonna do to pull this together is going back to the gray polish and where you know how I put the dots on the flowers now what we're gonna do is just along the tip put just a couple of dots going in a line okay so that way it sort of pulls in the dots from the main part of the nail and if you have really shallow tips you can do just a you know two dots whatever works for you okay and then once we have a minute to dry you're gonna put top coat on that and of course I always love to use sesh feet and that will actually smooth any bumps and ridges like you see from the sponge marks and stuff so let me go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you the final look okay so here is the finished look and then the thumbs are of course also the same just on a bigger scale <laughs> but that is it so I hope that you guys like this one and if you are not into orchid lavender or any other kind of purple you can put whatever color combination you want but this will give you just one idea so that's it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye